What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender modifier tutorial for you today. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the Solidify modifier, a modifier that allows you to quickly add thickness to objects inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so basically what the Blender Solidify modifier does is it takes the surface of a mesh and it adds depth or thickness to it. And so what that does is that can make a flat object have thickness. And so there's a lot of different ways that we can do this. This is the Blender documentation page that talks a little bit about the options that are in here. So if you're looking for more information, I will link to this in the notes down below. But for now, let's take a look at how this modifier works. So at its simplest, I'm inside a Blender right now, but this is just a flat plane, right? Well, what we can do is we're in object mode right now and we're gonna go over our modifiers. We're gonna add a solidify modifier and take a look at what this is doing. So right now, this isn't solidifying this very much, right? But you can see how it's basically like extruded this face up and given it thickness. Well, we can adjust that thickness by adjusting this option right here. So you can see how when I adjust this up and down, this gets thicker or thinner based on the value that we set inside of this model, right? Or inside of this uh, little menu bar right here. So you can use this to adjust this, this thickness to whatever you want. All right, so there's an, also an option in this modifier that you can apply. So you can come in here, you can add a modifier. And we're gonna add the solidify modifier. And there's an option in here that can allow you to adjust the direction that these faces are being offset. So. Like right now, for example, we gave this a thickness of one meter. You can see how this is offsetting us up this direction. However, if we were to change the offset to a one instead of a negative one, notice how this is now offsetting this in the other direction. So instead of offsetting it up, you can offset it down. Now you can get a little more advanced with this. So you can, for example, tab into object mode. And if you were to look at the normals on this object, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hide this modifier. So we're gonna turn this off and then look at this. But you can see how what that's gonna do is that's gonna show you the normal direction of the face. So basically the, the direction that the face or the front side of the face is facing. Well, you could come in here and you could adjust this normal as well. So you could just do a mesh normals flip. What that's gonna do is that's gonna flip the direction of the normals in the mesh, well notice how that also flipped the direction that that face was facing. So by adjusting that normal, the offset is being applied based on that normal direction. So when it's negative one, it's gonna go the opposite direction of your face normals. When it's positive one, it's gonna go in the same direction as your face normals. So that's just another way that you can adjust this if you wanna do that. And so now let's talk a little bit about some practical applications. So for example, let's say that we have this cylinder right here, right? Like right now, if we apply the solidify modifier to this, it's not really gonna do too much um, just because you can see how what this is doing is this is just adding a skin on the outside of this object, right? But you can't really see it. Um, it's just taking this and making it bigger so you have an inside and an outside. But if we were to tab into, um, if we were to tab into edit mode, and I'm gonna turn these normals back off. If we were to tab into edit mode, the first thing we need to do is turn this off, right? Because we can't actually see the original geometry that's in here. But let's say that we were to hit the X key and delete this face and then go back into object mode and turn this back on. Well, now you can see what this is doing, right? You can see how this is adding thickness in here based on um, the original geometry that's in there. So you can use this to add a thickness to the top and bottom of an object, just like this, or the whole outside of an object, just like this, if you wanna do that. And so let's say, for example, that we were to tab back into object mode or edit mode, delete this face, like this, well now you can see what this is doing is this is adding 0.19 meters of thickness to this cylinder that we have right here. You can also set if we fill in the rim or not on the edge. So if you don't fill in the rim, right? If you don't check this box, then basically what this is doing is this is just offsetting this face in, but it's not actually closing it off around the outside. So you, depending on the kind of result you're trying to create, you can check this or not check this. So just looking at another practical application, let's say you cut a sphere in half like this, you could use the solidify modifier in order to give that some thickness 
as well. So you can move this in or out, however you wanna do that. And again, notice how you can check this box for fill rim in order to fill this in. And so you can stack this with other modifiers as well. So for example, you could apply a subdivision surface modifier to this um, either before or after. So you're gonna get different results depending on how you do that. So notice how if you subdivide it before, you get more geometry, but you don't get a curve on the rim. If you subdivide it after, this is gonna subdivide the geometry that's being created and you get a smoother shape. So you can stack this with other modifiers too in order to get other results. So a lot of people use this to create things like walls really quickly in your model. So for example, if you were to just draw a flat profile of walls like this, you could come in here and apply the solidify modifier to this and you could actually use it to create walls of whatever height you want. So let's say your walls are three meters like this. You can use that to easily apply this. And then if you wanted to make changes, so like come back in here, go into object mode and maybe like move or edit mode, maybe like move this out a little bit and turn this back on. The cool thing about this is this would move along with any changes that you make. So this could be a really quick way to quickly create 3D walls from 2D objects. Now that does get a little bit weird um, when it comes to things like doors and windows, but what you could do is you could probably come in here with like a Boolean modifier. So, so what you could do is you could bring a box in like this and size it to whatever your opening needs to be. And then, or a cube in, and then what you could do is you could just apply a Boolean modifier to this wall. So what we would do is we would just apply a Boolean here. We would set it to be this object. And then for our cube, we would just want to go into um, object properties and under viewport display, display it as wire like this. And so what you can do is you can take this and you can move it around like this in order to set different openings in here. And honestly, you really could come in here if you wanted to, and you could actually set this with the solidify modifier too. So um, let's say for example, and we're going to hide this modifier for a second, but let's say that we were to add a plane and we'll go to top down view, move this over We'll scale it on our y-axis like this, just so it's a little bit bigger. Like this. And then we'll go ahead and we'll apply our rotation and scale. But what you could do for that one is you could apply a solidify modifier to that one. Like this, right, for the size of your door. Well then, if we have this turned on, We could use the Boolean right here. So we would still set this object to display as wire, but now this is another two dimensional object that you can move around in here. So you could turn both of those modifiers off if you wanted to until you needed them. So you could set this up where you have this entire thing modeled non-destructively inside a blender if you decided that's what you wanted to do. And so there's a lot of other options in here that I don't want to get too far into. If you have any questions about them, let me know. I will note there's a more complex mode in here that's basically in here for more complex shapes when you're um, trying to solidify them. So it does talk about that a little bit in the documentation as to how that's going to work. So you can see how this avoids kind of this, the self-intersecting geometry in here. I don't wanna to talk too much about that in this video, but if you are interested in that, we can talk about that a little bit more. So that's kind of an overview of the Solidify modifier in Blender. Leave a comment below and let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything cool that you're using this for. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.